is Explore Hong Kong at Chim Sha Choi now. It is now 4 p.m. in Hong Kong on a Sunday. Thank you for joining me today. We have chosen 10 questions from Instagram today and will answer you in this video. So it's quite hot in Hong Kong today, around 27 degrees Celsius. And we are now looking at one of the most culturally diverse location in Hong Kong, the Chongqing Mansion, Chongqing Daiha. So this would be where backpackers looking for cheap accommodations and also is famous for its curry restaurants. And this is also the gather place for people from different cultures in Hong Kong like the Indians, uh, Pakistanis, African, Nepalese. And here you can also see there are many empty shops in Chim Sha Choi right now. So in Chim Sha Choi mostly you can see pharmacies and also the jewelry shop because this is a tourist spot in Hong Kong and many people come to Hong Kong for the jewelry and also the pharmacies. And now I'm heading to the Chim Sha Choi Promenade and we have chosen 10 questions to answer and here we get the first one. How does the virus affect the economy in Hong Kong? So in 2019, there are around 55 million tourists coming to Hong Kong and it does affect the tourism industry greatly in this year. And many shops in Hong Kong and TST that are the um, tourist spot are closed permanently. And here we are looking at Sogo Hong Kong one of the big department stores. There is one in Chim Sha Choi and also another one in Causeway Bay. And here we are looking at the Space Museum, which looks like a pineapple bun. Do you think so? So it is actually very empty in Chim Sha Choi on a Sunday. We were there yesterday too, but it seems to me that it is even more empty on today. So let's have one more question. What does Chim Sha Choi mean in English? Uh, Chim Sha Choi in Chinese is Jim Sa Choi. Jim means shop and Sa Choi means sandy point. So um, Chim Sha Choi has a pointed shape facing the Hong Kong island and it was a sandy piece of land in Hong Kong in the past but now it has disappeared. So this is a long wait. And here we are looking at the Peninsula Hotel built in 1928 in Hong Kong, founded by the Kateri family. So that is the old building and that is the extension that was built in 1994 with a helipad on top. On the Christmas day in 1941, Hong Kong fell into the hands of Japan after 18 days of fighting in the Battle of Hong Kong. And this is where the Hong Kong governor at that time surrounded in person. Okay, let's answer one more question. Hidden good food in Chim Sha Choi. Uh, check out the Big Boss and Kayan Toast at Hoi Fond Road Temporary Market, Hoi Fond Dou Gai Si. That has reopened earlier in 2020. Uh, I like their Big Boss with the rice noodles and also the Kayan Toast. So now you can see more people at this side of Chim Sha Choi.
fine weather today. And in the past, you will be seeing this place packed it with people and much more spacious now. And you will hear this kind of announcement when you are in Chim Sha Choi that the government reminds you that uh, there shouldn't be any gathering here. So at this moment, Hong Kong is having the full person limit on gathering. Chapter 599G. And here we are Group looking at the Hong Kong Cultural Centre. In this venue. And there must be a distance of 1.5 meters or so more. So for the Hong Kong Cultural Centre, it was officiated, it was opened by the Prince and Princess of Wales in 1989. That means uh, Prince Charles and also uh, Princess Diana. So you can see that there's no window at all on this building. Reason is because they don't want people to be distracted by the beautiful view of the Victoria Harbour. And then, on this side you can see the clock tower. That was the uh, terminus of the Kowloon Canton Railway. And for now, the terminus of the train will be somewhere far away in Hong Kong. Let's answer another question. So many of you asked me this question, whether tourists can come to Hong Kong now? So these are all locals. The answer is no, all non-Hong Kong residents coming from overseas will be denied to enter Hong Kong. Best spot for dim sum in Chim Sha Choi. So I have two to recommend. Uh, one restaurant is called Very Good Restaurant. Yes, it's called Very Good. Bing Ho. Uh, it is along the Nathan Road. So I like their shredded chicken with jellyfish in Shandong style. Chinese is Shandong Gai. And their preserved egg is quite nice. It is sweet in taste. And then another one is in Jordan, very near to Chim Sha Choi, that is called Gam San Lao, Kam Shan Chinese restaurant, that you can still find some old dim sums there. Like the sweet egg twist dan san, deep fried wonton with sweet and sour sauce. Gam Lao wonton, that you can hardly find it in other restaurants in Hong Kong. One more question. Where do you prefer to go swimming in Hong Kong? Uh, usually for my family, when we go swimming, we go to Sai Kong, uh, Ting Sui Wan, the clear water bay. But for the repulse bay, it is Tian Sui Wan. Yes, Tian Sui Wan. Uh, on Hong Kong islands has the finest sand I saw so far. So uh, if you go to Repulse Bay, also check out the Kun Yam Shrine right next to the beach when you visit the Repulse Bay. That is also a nice place to visit. Okay, and now you can see the bus terminus where I asked you to take the bus uh, to travel along the Nathan Road. And then also uh, some people taking the wedding photos here. Plus the very famous ice cream truck. Recently, I can't hear the music of the ice cream truck. And it is now $12. And we are looking at the clock tower from another angle. So now let's go to 1881, Heritage 1881 in Chim Sha Choi. And then the next question is, what is the trend in Hong Kong now? So for young people, they like to go to cafes. Uh, look at this junk, the Aqua Luna. 
and also the star ferry here. So let me finish uh, the trend in Hong Kong. Uh, next time when you come to Hong Kong, go to Sham Shui Po. That is famous for their street. That was famous for their street market, like the App Liu Street for electronics and also their fabric market. So uh, next time when you come to Hong Kong, check out Tainan Street. And then there are they they made it into different cafes, and sometimes there is also art exhibition. So this is what young people in Hong Kong do now and they also go to the weekend market like D2 place in Lai Chi Kong So this is where you can find the terminus of the taxi, bus and also where you take the Star Ferry to Central and Wan Chai This is the newspaper stand in Hong Kong. Next question is a Chinese question. Uh, the Sunki Cafe in Champagne Court has actually moved to another place instead in Chun in uh, in Wan, uh, Chun Ping Building. So this place is famous for their instant noodles with cheese. And then before you go on to the Star Ferry, there's also a souvenir shop. So this one said it is opened, but no light inside. And then this place, you can find some of the very typical Hong Kong souvenir, like the postcard, $3 only. That is Bruce Lee. And then the pig tram, the tram, the red taxi, and also the ice cream truck, and also your name in Chinese. So, Anna, David, Kathleen, and Rachel. And that would be $45. So that is where people take the ferry to Central and to the piers to outlying islands. So in Hong Kong, many people go to the outlying islands now during the weekend. And this is what I'm going to say next, the top five most visited places in Hong Kong. One of it would be the outlying islands. Uh, or one, of, one of it would be the outlying island, like Chen Chao. Um, Lantau Island, I like Tai O, a fishing village, and also the Lama Island. So these people just took the Star Ferry. So the top five most pleasant place must be the peak. Make sure you take the peak tram, and then the Victoria Harbour by the Star Ferry and then the Buddha, which is also located in Lantau Island and please also visit our market. I would recommend the Mong Kok Wet Market or there are a few street market in Mong Kok. You can check out our previous videos for uh, the different street market in Mong Kok. So how much is it to take the South Ferry? That is the price. So the price is different on weekends and also on weekdays so for example for today if i'm going on to take the ferry on the lower deck so that would be 3.6 hong kong dollar less than one usd you can also either use the octopus card or you can buy a token here and before you get onto the ferry you can also get some snacks here these are some of the herbal tea in Hong Kong and then shumai fish ball 
and also cha yip dan, one of my favorite that I ate during morning every day, the tea egg. And then here we are looking at the very famous shopping mall, Harbour City. This is this used to be the cruise terminus. And now it is located in Kai Tak is that the Kai Tak cruise terminus. And here we are looking at the tallest building in Hong Kong, ICC. Tallest second tallest. And that is Harbour City. And earlier they work with uh, Invader was here and then you can find this kind of art pieces all around Harbour City. And then last questions of today. Is Cantonese mainly spoken in Hong Kong? The answer is yes. This is our mother tongue. Cantonese is our mother tongue. And the official languages in Hong Kong are Chinese and also English, as we are once under the governance of the British government. So when you visit Hong Kong, you can see uh, English everywhere, right next to the Chinese words. And then, so make sure that next time when you come to Hong Kong, instead of saying Ni Hao, that is the Mandarin or the Putonghua, you say Nei Hao. This is the telephone stand. You can still find that in Hong Kong. So again, hello in Cantonese is Nei Ho, or you simply say hello. And this is Star House, used to be a popular shopping mall among tourists too, where you can find shops that tailor make the suit for you. And then camera. And here you might still be able to see find some old shops. So I'm not sure whether they're closed permanently or not. Where you find the classic cool jewelry and watch. So Mario Taylor has closed permanently. And this is another old shop. Glasses and also jewelries. So they are closed today. Queen's house to get the clothes. So it is a pity to see all these shops. All these shops are actually closed. And other tailor shop that are closed, permanently closed. And this would be the last spot that we are heading to. So just now, the peninsula was built in 1920s and for 1881 heritage it was not built in 1881 but it was completed in 1884 and that was where the shoreline was was the former marine police headquarters compound that it has become a declared monument in 1994. Uh, come here during the Christmas time. They have some really nice Christmas decorations too and also it is another place for people to take wedding photos. And here we are at Heritage 8081. So there was a signal tower here that used to provide time signal to the ship in the Victoria Harbour, which is here. And that is the time signal tower. 
So after they uh, revitalize it, all the shops here actually sells the watches. So it matches with what it was in the past. That is to tell the time to the ships. Uh, it was also the old Kowloon fire station. And this is the fire truck. Let's have a look how Heritage 8081 is like from the top. This is the time signal tower. And here you can find the tropical cyclone warning signals and when there is typhoon then they will put this boss on top so that the ship can see it for example that is when the number three signal for strong wind is hoisted then they will hold this and put it here And that is typhoon signal number nine. And that is number eight. Okay, thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. So let me know if you have any other questions about Hong Kong and you can watch it again when you come to Hong Kong again. Uh, make sure you check out our Instagram for everything about Hong Kong, like this video, subscribe to our channel. And again, thank you very much. So I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.